Each one of us is a story on itself. We are a repository of memories, experiences, thoughts, and words that make us who we are. But at the same time, we use other people's experience to learn valuable things. In short, we are social learners. People can exteriorize their thoughts through language, either oral or written. This means that when you read or listen to others, you are building a bridge of understanding between two different minds that would otherwise be isolated. When looking for specific information through direct interaction, you can use two methods. Interviews when addressing a single individual and questionnaires when addressing a larger demographic. Questionnaires are characterized by offering close-ended questions that offer standardized results. It is a great instrument to measure common appreciations around any topic and it has become increasingly popular. There are various types of questions, dichotomous with two possible answers, nominal, various options to choose from, ordinal, organizing items according to preference, response scale, measuring levels of frequency or agreement, and semantic differential, using opposite appreciations. When designing your survey, consider these issues. Is your question necessary? Does it offer the right amount of choices? Is it clearly written? Can people answer it? Is it biased? Will respondents answer truthfully? You must also take sampling issues into account. The sample is the group of people you intend to ask. Who are they? Can you reach them? How many of them will you ask? Will the sample be biased? Finally, consider the needed resources, money, infrastructure, and time. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? I wanted to talk to you about the homework you left us regarding survey research methods. Well, I found information about questionnaires, but I couldn't find much about interviews. Can you help me? Of course. Look, an interview is a method used by researchers to obtain information from someone. It is typically a set of well-structured, open questions that will allow the respondent to freely speak out his or her mind on a topic. Interviews tend to be addressed to a small number of people, usually experts on a field. When planning your own interview, begin by locating your respondent and settling an appointment. After making question drafts, make corrections by eliminating redundancies 
and making sure that they cover what you want to know and can be properly understood by the respondent. Get the needed materials, recorder, notebook, whatever, and make a rehearsal of the interview if possible. When conducting the interview, keep in mind basic rules of courtesy and begin by offering your respondent a little bit of context about your study. Do not limit your respondent's answer, but keep in mind that a very long interview is going to be harder to listen and systematize. Thereby, try to keep it concise. Thank your guest for his time, and I think you're good to go. Thanks a lot, teacher. That's going to be very helpful. I will see you tomorrow in class. Anytime. I'll see you tomorrow.